Hey everyone, Joel Anson here. Today we're outside Plantology, yes, Plantology, which is actually a vegan restaurant. Yes, a vegan kitchen, vegan restaurant, guys. And where am I at? I am in San Antonio, Texas, guys. I love Texas. It's good to be back in Texas and here first time in San Antonio. So what are we doing today? Well, guess what? We're obviously doing a vegan food challenge. My first vegan food challenge, I will say. Well, I've done like a one at home before, but never an official one. So this is my first one, guys. So it'll be pretty cool. It's been actually a very highly requested item, believe it or not. So anyway, the details of this challenge, I know we are going to have 20 minutes to complete what I believe is seven of their sandwiches. Basically, it's like, I call it like a burger and fried chicken based sandwich challenge. Um, it is a couple, I, know, I think two burgers, two chicken sandwiches, a Philly cheesesteak, um, some kind of sandwich, and I believe... I'm probably forgetting something. Oh, I something which I won't even tell you. So anyway, it should be fun. Let's head in, let's have fun. I'll give me some more details, give the specifics. But like I said, do you know $20 to get a meal for free. Otherwise, I believe it is about a 70-ish dollar price tag. So anyway, it should be fun. Let's head in, let's have fun with these food. Let's get rocking. All right, everyone, so here with all the food. Looks absolutely delicious. And I'm honored, actually, we ran into the owner, the chef, El Jefe, every, and they, all of the above, uh, Griselda, who is going to tell us what we actually have in front of us today. Because we have lots and lots and lots of items. I could go through it, but she knows the menu like the back of her hand. She made everything. So maybe starting right up here, what do we have here? So right there we have the Southwest Burger. That one is like, it's like a mix of a lot of cultures that mm. we, we put it in a burger pretty much. I love it. It's like, it's like Texas. It's like, yeah. like Tex-Mex, like a lot of yeah. different cultures. I like the sound of it. I see some uh, pico, I see some corn, I see obviously the impossible burger patties, guacamole, looks like a, a spicy aioli maybe? Yeah, that's hey. the spicy aioli. I chipotle like aioli. Yeah. Chipotle. Oh, I love yeah. chipotle. We then have, this looks like a burger on, or an egg on burger, I should say, a breakfast burger. Yeah. Is that what that is? Yeah, that is, that is the Sunshine Burger and that one is actually, it's like a brunch burger. Brunch burger, sunshine. I, I, it's a sunny day. It's sunny <laughs> yeah. in Texas, that's for sure. Okay, and on this one, I know I mean, that has to be a Nashville hot chicken. Yeah, definitely. That's a Nashville, and it's kind of hot. You know, it's kind of there. So you're going to love it. Picante. I do like spicy, so I'm excited <laughs> to try that. I see pickles on there. We also got some things like kale, slaw. Hey, I look forward to it. Now, this is another chicken one, I believe. What do we have there? Yeah, this is a honey butter chicken sandwich. That one is also a breakfast sandwich. Honey butter. Oh, it is. It's sticky. Yeah. Honey butter. Okay, I get it. I get it. I see the egg on there as well. Yeah, that yeah. is sticky. Oh, so like chicken and waffles kind of like sweet, sweet, yeah, savory. Yeah, it's, it's a sweet and savory, and the honey is not real honey. It's made from agave. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I guess honey's not vegan. That's right. Yeah. It comes from animals. We have. What is this right here? Oh, that's my favorite one. That's a Philly cheesesteak sandwich. A Philly cheesesteak. Okay, okay. So definitely I see some onions, some peppers. We have mushrooms. some mushrooms. Okay, I do like all that. We have a nice little drizzle of a sauce on top as well. I'm sure there's some vegan cheese in there. Is that yeah, there, is that? there is. Okay, <laughs> hey, I like it. I like it. And I mean, it looks good. I've, I've never had a vegan Philly cheesesteak. <laughs> We're about to change that. Now this one, you said this is the new item. Is that correct? Yes, that's my favorite one right now. That's a Cuban panini. Hey. Which is amazing. Look at all those flavors and colors. I mean, I see definitely some ham. I see some mustard, some pickles. We got, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's vegan carnitas, isn't it? Yeah, that's made from mushrooms, so you're gonna, it's gonna blow your mind. I do love vegetables. <laughs> yeah. And now, this one right here, I know what this is, but tell me what this one is right here, because this is amazing and hilarious. What is this right here? That's our lobster roll, or should I say, our version of a lobster roll. I like it. So a vegan lobster roll, guys. I've never had something like that before, but I will say it does resemble it. And I know you said like the texture is really resembling a lobster yes. roll, which I look forward to. Now, what is this actually made of? That's made out of uh, parts of palms. Heart of palms. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then obviously I see some onions. Looks like some celery as well. Celery. Okay. It's like a lobster roll. So hey, this looks awesome. Thank you so much for walking me through yeah. everything here. I know I do have some of their house-made sauces as well. She said some of these are quite picante, but yeah. I'm definitely looking forward to it. So uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, of course we have some ketchup. Ketchup is vegan. Yeah, there is. Good thing. <laughs> and uh, some hot sauce. Hot sauce is vegan. All my favorites. So let's get started here. Just momentarily. All right, around, so I'm definitely excited. Looks good. And we might as well get rocking and a rolling. So the vegan monster. I do like the name. So only really one way to do it, and that's to do it. Now, where to start? That is a great question. I'm probably going to start with maybe this uh, Southwest Burger right up here. It looks very, very delicious. There is so much stuff on there. The pico, 
the tomates, the, uh, yeah, that's it. I, we, we already told you all what's on it. So how about we get rocking and rolling? So let's save the count of maybe five, four, three, two, one. Let us eat. Mm. Hold on. Sorry. That right, guacamole. I'm just making a mess here. I'm gonna adjust this a little bit. Make this a little bit more better for you visually. Hold on. Take the difficulties. Okay, that taste though. Not gonna lie. That is fantastic. It's so fresh. I love the corn on it. Mmm. Mmm. And it tastes like Southwest Aeoli. Not gonna lie, it tastes just like a burger, like a beef burger. You know what I'm saying? It is a burger, but you know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm amazed. I do always recommend eating your vegetables, your fruits, your plants. In fact, I have a whole clothing line of them, so check that out. But in the meantime, delicious. Tortilla chips have a really nice crunch also. Maybe I'll, I'll stick with the burger theme. Go for this sunshine burger next. Set the egg on here, the aioli. Mmm. Arugula. Definitely tastes that egg patty, and it tastes like an egg, like a real egg actually. That's really, really good. I'm gonna try a little bit of ketchup. This ketchup they have here is really nice and tomatoey, and it's really acidic, a sharp vinegar on it. This is good. So these chickens sound awesome. One sweet, one spicy. Maybe I'll save those for last. Let's try this lobster roll, guys. No clue what that's gonna be like, so let's give it a shot. I'm not gonna lie. sensory aspects when I bit into that, I identified it was a lobster roll. Mm. That was the coolest and weirdest thing that ever just happened to me because now it's not like a you don't really get like a seafood flavor out of it. But everything about that as it entered my mouth it was just like lobster roll. That was a sensory experience. That was really neat. Right, next, I'm gonna try this Cuban, the Cubano. So we got the vegan carnitas, we got ham, some pickles, which they make here. If you like pickles. I'm gonna try a little bit of their salsa. Just, uh, Salsa Verde. Mmm. Mmm. Jalapenos. Avocado. Mm. Very good. Great, great, great flavor. Mm. And that pickle. We got a nice pickle on that bite. I'm impressed. And for those who are still like meat eaters and looking for vegan options or something very comparable, the burgers, I arguably could have been beef. I'll definitely give it that. All right, chickens. 
cheesesteak, we have a cheesesteak rockin'. This is huge. Definitely a very large portion on here. And I think this was uh, Rizal's favorite, so let's give it a shot. The peppers and the onions are a great, great, great flavor on that. I really like that. The, it's a, it's a soy, uh, soy product on there. Hold on, I'm gonna get the flavor. Mmm, mushrooms. I really got a really nice mushroom on there. And, whoop, chicken down, we'll get that in a sec. But the, it has a really nice kind of a beef, beefy flavor. Yeah, it, it works. Try the chili to arbo. Ooh, that cheese act there, that's actually a really nice, great creamy flavor. Get our chicken back in action. For the steak. All right, I'll give a little shrapnel here, guys. I'm gonna clean that up. I think we're about nine, uh, eight, eight and a half, eight and a half, maybe. I don't know, coming on, maybe, coming on, coming on nine minutes, yeah, eight and a half, I think we were. I'm impressed. Let's try this Nashville. We got the aioli on here, of course, some oil-based cayenne, paprika, kale slaw. Mm. Oh yeah. Something on there has this amazing sweetness. Mm. It almost reminds me of like a chicken and waffle slash like donut vibe. That's actually like, that's stellar. Even if it was vegan or not, that is delicious. Last but not least, the literal sticky, 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 sticky chicken sandwich, guys. Let's give us a rock and a roll. So that one kind of tasted like chicken and waffles. So I anticipate this one to be very chicken and waffle. Definitely get that honey butter flavor. This is chicken and waffles. That is chicken and waffles in a sandwich. Let me know down below the hot sauce with chicken and waffles. I'm a fan. With the salt, spice, and that sticky sweet. So that, clean up. We are about 12 or 12 and a half, I think that's in. I'm trying to go by my camera timer. Say we're finished right there. We are finished right there. Perfect, guys. So I believe about 12 minutes, 45 seconds, something like that. All right. I gotta say, when I, you know, it's when I heard it was vegan and gluten free. I think there's some really like negative connotations, or at least like certain connotations surrounding those terms. But I, I gotta give it to everybody here at Plantology. That was actually delicious. I, I think my absolute favorite was that Nashville hot. That was so good. Again, I, I must be like a little bit of sweetness or something in the, the sauce or whatever they got going on with that chicken, that bun. It tastes literally like, oh man, I don't know, like chicken and waffly, donutty, delicious sweetness. Then with that like Nashville hot love of that cayenne there, that was delicious. That was amazing. That is a 10 out of 10. Like I said, whether that was vegan or not, I really enjoyed that. I also really enjoyed the burgers. The burgers, I think, also really stood out for me um, in the fact that, like I said, especially the uh, Southwest, I really do think it could have been served to me, and I don't think I would have known it was vegan. You know what I'm saying? So whether you're looking for your vegan options, uh, because you are a vegan or you're looking for an alternative because for whatever reason, I gotta say, I definitely stop by Plantology. They do have two locations, I believe, in 
uh, San Antonio. I'm at the northern one. It's on Highway. What's the what's this highway called? Uh, it's 281. 281. So it's up. It's a two, 281. Uh, yeah, it is, it's. Right off the highway, it was actually super easy to get to. Uh, but yeah, I got no complaints, so glad we will get the meal for free, which is pretty cool. We did officially get in a like fully legitimate vegan challenge. I've been looking forward for forever. You guys know that because it's been heavily requested for a long, long, long time. And who would have thought? I definitely wouldn't have thought it was going to be so exciting, like lobster rolls and Nashville hot and burgers. So hey, anyway, that was pretty cool. So. I got no complaints, so that's until next time, everybody. Of course, I'm happy all the hungry, happy eating. Thank you to the staff, they're very, very friendly. They have some, uh, some other really interesting items on the menu, um, such as like buckets of chicken. You can get buckets of chicken, chicken and waffles, which you can get chicken and waffles pretty much on a sandwich. Um, and the list goes on. So, anyway, excuse me, comments to the chef. And that, everybody, until next time, of course, I'm happy all the hungry, happy eating. Appreciate you guys. Great to be in San Antonio, the last big city I need to get to in Texas. What's next one, buddy? Have a lovely day. And here we have a uh, lovely little structure, a pond, some cool looking, I think they're ducks. I mean, like, they could be geese. Let's well, say he's a duck. <laughs> and uh, here again, we have the Tower of Americas. Woo! Uh, here we go. To Tower of the Americas. Woo! Tower of the Americas, everybody. Best views of beautiful San Pretty cool. Built in 1968 as the centerpiece for the World's Fair. Tower of the Americas stands 750 feet That little green top square over there, that small little red building, yeah. that's the courthouse. Okay. That one right there. Not the tall one, a little small one. Yeah, that's the courthouse. Our first stop is Charthouse Restaurant. That's the band. Legendary steaks and seafood. As guests over with the bustling cities. And then if you see a little small pointy thing over there, that's our Lady of the Lake University where I went to school. Then if you see a little small hill over there, that's SeaWorld, all the way on the other side of town. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I, see, I, see the, uh, I see the Ferris or the amusement uh, parks over there. Yeah, so that's a roller coaster, steel, steel hill. So that's... And then that's Lotus over there, and then if you go down that way, that's 30, that's uh, 35. Thank you. No. And here we go guys, the, the sights of San Antonio, the city, the town, city I guess, <laughs> there ain't no town. It's big, and I mean it's cool, we have all the sights. Great view up here everybody. I'll put you up above the, uh, above the colors. Awesome. Great way to see the city, I will say. And they do have a revolving restaurant, which we're not going to today because we got bigger and better plans to be eaten. Here's really beautiful to come in. Uh, Revolve? Yeah. And here we have a beautiful, 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 I think you call it the something plaza, but it's gorgeous, guys. Look at this water fountain. I love this. Looks pretty refreshing. The walkway to the Institute of Texas Culture and all this good stuff. I like it. This is gorgeous. Final verdict, I'm a, I think it's a goose. The way it sounds, I'm going with goose. Yeah, I'm going with goose. Nice to meet you, my friend. Till next time. And here we have the famous San Antonio River Walk, everybody. This is actually, I like this a lot. Apparently, do not swim in the water by no means, and we definitely won't, but look at this. This is super cool. They had shops, restaurants, basically along either side, and uh, some cool looking buildings, and gorgeous. And look at this, everybody. So we have this like lovely little overpass thingy thing. These great big trees. I personally think this is cute. Apparently, that's maybe not the descriptor of most people on the Riverwalk, but this is really nice. And, you and want to know a fun fact? let's do it. That's where they filmed the movie Selena. Oh yeah, and yeah. Lopez is with her husband, and she's sitting on there. That's, that's it. That's the bridge. That is, uh, yeah, that's a bit of history in itself. Is Selena from San Antonio? No. Okay. Corpus Christi. Corpus Christi. Yeah. So a bit further south, but this is awesome. I really like this river walk. Got some more ducks. That's a real duck. <laughs> it's like I can guarantee that is a duck, but yeah, this is cool. I'm a. There's a lot of ducks here. I like this. San Antonio River Walk, everybody. I'm a fan. What a cool spot.
Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much. You rock.